Welcome to Perfect Piano, I'm James Vickers. In this 16th video, we'll be looking at how to read. I hated having to read aloud in class at junior school, and I think this carried over to my sight reading at the piano. The page became a blur and I couldn't find any notes on the keyboard. However, the more I played the piano, the more I realised that if I didn't move, nor did the notes on the keyboard, by always practising in the same place and at the same height, I learned that the notes were actually readily to hand. It's called kinesthesis. It is why we can touch our nose without looking. So I always sit with my belly button facing middle D, and as discussed in video two, my arm is always parallel to the floor. Therefore, for the most part, I don't have to look down at my hands. When teaching, I'd actually sometimes lower the lid of the keyboard so as the pupils couldn't see the notes. The thing is, by not looking down, we get more time to read. Set the key signature in your mind. Scales, unfortunately, do help. Set a reasonable tempo and try to keep it, keep it going. The beats make the spaces for you to play the notes in. Look out for scale passages oscillating between lines and spaces and more arpeggio-like phrases where the notes jump from line to line or space to space. When practicing five finger exercises, think through the lines and spaces. Also, if you're playing a D, the note to the right is in E, to the left is a C. Also practice finding common intervals, fifths, octaves, the thumb and the fifth, try actually testing whether you are actually hitting, say, C to G or C to C. Helpfully, unless it's an orchestral transcription, it's unlikely whatever you're reading is unpianistic. Try to read ahead and anticipate what comes next, especially if there's movement or jumps. More than anything though, it takes practice. And as with anything else, practice develops confidence. But as pianists, we spend most of our time learning new pieces like this, that are usually at the very extent of our ability, meaning we're always stopping to correct and learn. By practice, I mean reading pieces easier than we are learning. Keys that they look different, so you don't get black note fever. If we want to read well, it is also important to practice easier pieces and to keep going without correction. Get a book of easier pieces that you can play through, a new one each day. Read pieces probably two grades down from what you're learning. This way, we can build our confidence. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll be discussing rhythm. Subscribe to Perfect Piano so as not to miss it.